had little success in applying the master's arts. Been looking for anything of great worth. Which is why I've conjured you. Director Ben Wheatley leads a priest, a fool, a soldier and an alchemist on a rambling treasure hunt through war-torn 17th century Britain. These same fields will see Wheatley's sightseers bludgeoning prissy ramblers to death in about 350 years' time. For now, let's see what occult mysteries the past can throw up. As much as I detest you personally, my dear, I acknowledge that your gifts are stronger in certain areas. But you are not my divining rod. I have little of my master's art in divination. You are confused, sir. It is I who am capturing you, not the other way round. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with bravery and I went here. It is official. You are my prisoner. Peter, this is quite the trip. Can you help me get my head around it? I'm not sure if I can. I, I found it very, very bizarre. It's as bizarre as any of Ben Wheatley's other films. It's, it's formally quite different. It's very low budget and black and white. It's very odd. It's very, very odd indeed. I mean, it starts off odd and then it goes into a kind of weird psychedelic space because they start eating mushroom, basically. It's very, very strange, but I found it completely engrossing and gripping and kind of nasty as well a really kind of it had a real kind of organic kind of homebrew tang to it i can't describe it any more than that I, I, but i i liked it very much did you enjoy the bizarreness of this catherine or was it alienating for you basically i didn't get on with it at all um and it's funny we've been talking about sort of seeing films twice and the bling ring you know mm. you enjoyed more the second time lots of people have said to me oh, you've got to see it again this one, because um, you know, it's really it really gives more on the second viewing. I can't imagine myself <laughs> being prepared to watch this again, even professionally, because it was it really, really got on my nerves. Well, it's a very... long opening stretch where you have mm. almost an Amdram feel to them wandering around as authentic Civil War soldiers, and Super oh, we'll stagy, get to the, yeah. the ale house soon, and, yeah. and it takes a long time to actually get to the point where they're eating the mushrooms and getting going. I didn't find it Amdram. I mean, I, I know what you mean, it's very talky and downbeat, but I quite like that. It reminded me of something by Dennis Potter, something kind of very dour and, un and unpleasant with that air that something horrible is going to happen in a minute. Uh, or Edward Bond's, Edward Bond's Lear, for example. It really reminded me of that. Nothing has to happen for it to create an atmosphere of nastiness, not specifically menace, but kind of nastiness that you're going to kind of fall through a kind of trapdoor any minute. There's been a bit of a gimmick around this, and it's one of the first, in fact, I think the first film to be released in cinemas on video on demand and come out on DVD on the same day. How do you think it's going to do? Well, the weird thing about that business model is that it's actually on film four as well that night. It's on on Friday night, mm. tonight, people, yeah. at 10.30. Mm. Um, and we're going to live blog it, which is going to be a hell of an experience. Um, <laughs> Maybe we could, you know, find something to help us along the way. Yeah, I know, it's going to help us do it. Um, <laughs> it's your second I, chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, isn't it interesting that he's chosen that strategy? Isn't it interesting he's chosen it with this film? Is that interesting or is that just not? Because it's the hardest sell film, especially coming off Sightseers, which was pretty mainstream, pretty funny. I really, really loved it. Um, you know, coming, coming from that to this, you know, your expectations are so going to be unfulfilled. Uh, I think it's sort of almost an inevitability that they'd have to do some unusual marketing tactic with this one. <laughs> Colorless the fiend, whitehead. Then I shall become it. I shall consume all the ill fortune which you are set to unleash. I shall chew up all the selfish scheming and ill intentions that men like you force upon men like me and bury it in the stomach of this place. 